Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and there's some big news that's come out of Unity. Matt Bromberg, the new CEO of Unity, wanted to write a personal blog post to detail exactly what decisions they're going to make now and for the future. And as you may have guessed, they're going to be cancelling the runtime fee, which caused so much heartache in the Unity community just last year. Before we start with this blog post, let me hit you with the cold hard facts. The runtime fee is gone. Unity Personal is for everybody. You get a ceiling of up to $200,000 a year before you have to buy into Unity Pro. Once you earn over $200,000, you pay an 8% increased subscription fee for Unity Pro compared to the previous pricing. And then there is nothing more to pay, no extra fees, no runtime fee, unless you become an enterprise user and you've earned over $25 million within an annual cycle. For the vast majority, I don't think that's you so I wouldn't worry about ever spending a penny. But sit down with me, I'll go through all the blog posts and you can tell me your thoughts down below. So if you want to be reminded exactly what happened, let me take you back. And Unity came out of nowhere that every single new install of your game would potentially incur a fee over a specific value that you earn in any given year. Rather than doing a straightforward fixed amount based on how much you've earned, then they were a bit shady by changing their terms and conditions that would let them retroactively change the terms whenever they decided. And Unity lost a lot of trust with the community and a lot of big development teams decided to move away from Unity due to this decision. There was a few changes of CEO, an interim CEO, and now the new one, Matt Bromberg, who's written this post and you can get a detail of exactly what's going on for the future. If you're going to Barcelona very soon for Unite 2024, do be sure to comment down below because I'll see you there and be sure to come and say hello. But Matt goes to say that they've decided to cancel the runtime fee. That's for every single games related customer effective immediately. And he goes on to say over the last 20 years, Unity have partnered with brilliant designers, developers, artists and engineers. And they always called it democratizing game development. And this still remains the core mission of Unity to this very day. And he said they can't pursue that mission if it's in conflict to the customers. Because at the heart, it must be a partnership built on trust, which Unity have lacked for a considerable amount of time. He said he's been able to connect with many people over the last three months. He's heard time and time again that everybody wants a strong Unity. That price increases are necessary and they're part of the investment of moving the platform forward. And these increases shouldn't come in any controversial new form and they want to deliver value at a fair price. They want everybody to feel comfortable building the business long term with Unity by their side. Now he specifically said that they're reverting back to the existing seating based subscription model for all gaming customers and this includes everybody who adopts Unity 6. So a quick rundown of everything that you need to know. If you're a developer and you've got Unity Personal, it will remain free and they're going to be doubling the revenue ceiling for any given year. So then it goes from $100,000 to $200,000 before you even need to buy into the license. And you can use Unity at no cost. And the Made with Unity splash screen will be optional for all Unity personal games made in Unity 6 after it launches this year. And then if you do make over the 200,000 threshold, you will be expected to purchase Unity Pro. And the subscription pricing will increase for these two products, Unity Pro and Unity Enterprise. And this will affect all new and existing Unity Pro customers when they either purchase, upgrade or renew a license. And for Unity Pro, it will increase by 8% to a value of $2,200. And again, this will require you to make more than $200,000 in total annual revenue. The other cap would be if you're an enterprise customer where you would have to earn over $25 million before you would move to their newer subscription plan which will take a 25% increase for their biggest customers that use Unity because they need a tailored experience between what products they use, what services they use, and there and thereabouts. And for the vast majority of users who use Unity, you'll never pay a single penny. And even if you do, you can buy into the Pro license and it's a small price to pay if they want to revert to a more traditional cycle of considering any pricing increases only on an annual basis. And Unity have made a commitment that if they change the software terms that impact you, you can continue to use your current version of the software under the previously agreed terms as long as you continue using that version. 
and they've updated their GitHub repository and their legal page so you can see the details and their 2025 pricing and I'll put all the links below. They say that the runtime fee cancellation but the increases to the subscription plan will help them improve game development and the engine and make better partners for everybody. And he wants to continue to build the trust and support in everything that they do moving forward because he wants to make that paramount to his mission as he's taken over at Unity. So I want you to let me know down below what you think of this announcement, if it impacts you, and if you think it really is a change for Unity and for the better. Do be sure to check out Unity's new sale on the Unity Asset Store for brand new assets that have never been on sale before. Do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to Peter Steiner, Mary Shutha and Jennifer for their amazing support and thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.